Hey guys, uh, Striker5570 back here again, and uh, we're going to be epoxying or uh, JB welding uh, bushings into this uh, gearbox. This is for the uh, the SIG, uh, the ICS SIG, um, the 552 version. And uh, so first off, um, I did this off camera. Uh, I just decided to bring the camera out here while I'm doing this. Might as well. And um, what I'm doing, I'm cleaning off the, uh, the bushings from any oil over here. This is acetone, um, pure acetone, the one you get in the uh, metal can. That's in the other room right now. But um, and then this is just an applesauce jar. So you just put them in here, swish them around, and uh, that's part of a AK mag release. I'm trying to strip the paint off, um, but. Uh, so uh, to get them out, I'm going to take uh, a few magnets I got here. These are some just some neodymium magnets, uh, maybe 15 pound pole, probably not that much, I, I'm not quite sure, but anyways, that's how I'm going to get them out of here. So uh, I'm just out of the way for one sec, so you can see what I'm doing. Just, whoop. Okay, just slide right out. Okay, you know all of them. Now, uh, set the magnets aside. Bring this over here. Okay, so I'm going to dry them off. Even though um, the acetone is very uh, volatile and uh, evaporates quite quickly. Um, Get them a little dry so it doesn't affect the uh, JB weld. Okay, so now uh, what you need is a surface to uh, mix your JB weld on and uh, something to mix it. I have uh, a nail, something's galvanized. And um, so we're going to want approximately two little puddles of approximately the same amount of a uh, the black and the red. And this one's quite thick. We don't need that much. So, all right, that should be plenty. And the Top is taped on this because it broke. Alright, so let's get another little puddle about the same size. Then, mind you, this stuff takes, I'd give it a solid 24 hours before use. Oops, and I got a little, little much there. Wipe that off the tip. So to make a strong mix, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little more black. Because if you have a, too much or one or the other, it's not going to be as strong as you like. All right, that looks about right. Do that. I'm just going to go ahead and take my nail and mix them together until you get darker gray. No, actually, just thinking about this, I'm gonna need something a little bit finer to apply it to the to the gears. Um, I am gonna bring those magnets back into place um, so I can uh, so I can hold them like that and place them in carefully without touching them. Um, so um, I'm gonna use a finer nail or a smaller one, I mean.
one like this, it's in comparison, would work much better, but for mixing this is a little a little easier. Okay, so we'll start with the um, the right side of the gearbox. And um, Okay, I went ahead and stuck it on the end. Oops, wrong side actually. We want it face down like that. There we go. Alright, so we'll take our finer now. Actually, if you're doing this maybe with a, a wood splinter would be a little easier since it won't stick. This is a steel, and now we'll uh, take this and press it in. And press it in with my finger, and that's as tight as I feel it going in. Let me put away the excess. Preferably with a rag, but use your finger, it's fine. You'll be fine. Move over here for a second. Maybe not here. Let's see what I'm doing. Just wiping away the excess with a rag. But, okay. Now the uh, next one. So, uh, all right, and it, goes, it gets a little off center because uh, the nail sort of pulls it. But um, here we're going to do the next one right here. That's a tight fit. The added JB weld is really making it tough to go in. Alright, that looks pretty flush. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, no, I'm going to try a wood splinter. Um, right, I just broke this off from a scrap piece of wood. I'm going to try this to apply it. And this will be, uh, oops, should be a little easier because I won't move the magnet or the bushing off the magnet. Oh, much easier. Mind you, I'm just sort of figuring this out as I go. And, uh, I haven't really tried any of this beforehand. So, uh, bear with me here. Wipe it off the end. Alright. In here, and zoom in right here. Oops. And boom.
There's a little bit of GB weld in the middle there. And that's not good. Um, clean it out with this. And, uh, yeah. If not, I'll just scrape it off with the, uh, the nail or something when it's dry and I can just crack it off. This JB Weld works especially well if you're compressing two parts together that are uh, like like bushings. JB Weld works excellent, but on its own it isn't very um, very strong. It's a good bonding agent, but not um, stable on its own. It needs to be it's meant for repairing cracks and small crevices, so um, stuff like this works perfectly. So you get the point, and um, I will uh, just fast forward through me doing this screw box here. All right, so I'm uh, putting in the last one here, and yeah, the uh, bevel ones did seem to loosen up a, quite a bit, um, as they're by far the easiest out of the uh, three gear bushing holes to put in. So uh, that probably was part of the problem with the shimming. I uh, sort of assumed too much. For the bushings, because um, when I first opened up the gun, I was like, "Well, these bushings are pretty well in place, so I'll just um, see how it works without epoxying them in." But um, that didn't seem to work because uh, when I moved the gun, the uh, it, the sound of it would change, and it would sound a little more screechy when I um, hold it straight up and to the side than that would um, on the uh, top side instead of the bottom so these all look uh, pretty well in place and I will uh, just let them set so um, yeah thanks for watching